Hi everybody, Cynthia here. And Nick. And we're back with Macchiato Monday Coffee Talk. Yay! <laughs> we had a um, lot of subscribers wanting us to bring back Macchiato Monday Coffee Talk. And we decided to do so. We're only probably going to do one a month. Because um, we're kind of like not that exciting that we have that much to talk about, I don't think. I don't know. I'm very exciting, but I just don't have a lot to talk about. You are very exciting, but <laughs> we don't want to bore everybody, right? No, we don't. Um, and for the new subscribers, Macchiato Monday Coffee Talk started, I don't know, one day I made a cup of coffee, and my favorite creamer to use is Caramel Macchiato. And I just, I think you named it. I'm like, I'm going to do a video and just make a cup of coffee and sit down and talk to my subscribers and friends and kind of like I'm just sharing a cup of coffee with friends and you named it Macchiato I think Monday. So, yeah. yeah. I, I forget exactly. But it was a while ago. But that's what it's about guys. It's just a chit chat video sitting down having coffee with friends. So if you're not interested, I completely understand. Just click off and if you are, um don't click off. Yeah. Just pay just hang out, have coffee with us and Right. Make put the put the video on pause and make a cup of coffee. There you go. Um, so we're both drinking out of Steelers coffee mugs today. We are celebrating the season even though they lost last night. And uh, He's celebrating the season. I'm mourning the loss. It was, it was a terrible game. I'll tell you what was an exciting game. Especially the last like four minutes of the Cardinals and Packers game. Packers yeah. game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that one was... Let's turn it off, and it's over, and then tied up, and I know overtime, and yeah, boom. Packers lose. <sighs> Packers lose. Packers yeah. lose. Packers lose. That that was a really <laughs> that was an I love games when they're exciting like that. Yeah. Well, but that Steelers Bengals game, I almost turned that off. Oh, the last yeah, minute. that was well. amazing and, too. <laughs> we're through the interception, and I was like, yeah, I'm turning. Then I was like, nope, I'm gonna watch it. That was completely but, amazing. Let's see, what's new in our life? Not much. Well, um, new year, we've been working and back to school and yeah. after those two weeks off for vacation for Christmas. I know, that was so nice. So nice. I got I so to go used to, to being home. I know. And we tr <laughs> tried to make sure that I didn't have to go back by winning the Powerball, but we didn't get a single number on any ticket. <laughs> <laughs> You know, can you met? Okay, we bought one Powerball ticket because my my well, thing every, is, if every, you, we for what four weeks we bought one Powerball. Yeah, but I mean we didn't go nuts. Yeah, no. I bought one Powerball ticket, and because I thought, four you know, if you're gonna get lucky, you're gonna be lucky, and that's all there is. Some people, like on the news, they were saying we're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars of their own money. I'm like. Dude, go to the freaking casino. You have a better chance there than you do, you know, <laughs> buying buying a Powerball ticket where it's one in a billion chance that you're going to win, you I know? I saw this thing online that said you have a better chance of being bitten by a shark <laughs> and struck by lightning at the same time than you did of winning the Powerball. Struck by Both lightning. Sweating. Speaking of struck by lightning, remember when we saw that tree the other day on the news and I was like, it was like totally demolished and I oh, said, Can yeah. you, I can't believe people get struck by lightning and, and survive. survive. Yeah. Well, I mean, the amount of damage it does to a tree, can you imagine what that does to a human body and well, that people live? It's amazing. It's a miracle. I don't care what anybody says. That's a miracle. It is a miracle. Okay. So new year, new uh, thing I'm trying um, one of my, I don't know, I guess it's a fault of mine or something I don't like about myself is I suffer fault. from anxiety, um, high anxiety. I, I worry, I worry about everything, guys. I am just... She has a little hard time relaxing. Yeah, I'm an excessive worrier. I'm, I'm not hyperactive, but no. my, I can't shut my mind off. You know, like, uh, well, you don't want to shut it off because then you'd be dead. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I need to find ways to try and, like, chill out. Especially if there's a lot going on. Um, 
like last year, my dad was having that artery surgeries in his neck and, you know, things were going on and I was worried, 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 where, uh, you know, what, what is the sense of worrying when you have no control? And I think that's what it is, Nick. I have no control over the situation. I have no power. I have to leave it in somebody else's hands and it freaks me out. Like I want to fix things right. and I can't and fix them. So instead of going on Xanax or, you know, whatever people go on, is it Xanax? Or Zoloft. I've heard of Zoloft. Zoloft. Yes, okay. I am trying to find other ways to deal with my anxiety. Coffee. So what I did, you guys know, I'm a bookworm. I love the library, the public library system. I don't know, honestly, what I would do without it. I mean, I'm, I'm there. there. All the time. Yeah, I'm constantly there. So I got a few DVDs out. Now, this is yoga for energy and stress relief, which I'm going to try. It says restorative practices to revitalize the mind and body. <laughs> and then he. You have to read it in that voice, too, otherwise it's just not. Sad. I know, it's so soothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he also put out a relaxation. And is that dreaming? Does that say dreaming? Because the things that. Oh, here, it's up here. Relaxation and breathing. Breathing. For meditation. <laughs> For meditation. I was trying to read that, guys, and it was I didn't realize the labels up here because I'm a ding-dong. But I got that, and then I tried one of these because somebody had put five stars on it. But, yeah, this looks a little advanced, so we'll see. And then this is also stress relief yoga for beginners, which is what I am a beginner. The only yoga that I've ever done, and don't laugh, <laughs> or laugh, who cares? Yeah, that's um, funny was on the we the we fit yoga the we fit yoga and the we fit i loved that thing where i could you you stood on this board and you and you but went back board. and forth and you smacked soccer balls with your head you know on the video game not in real yeah. uh oh it was so fun i was like smack that soccer ball smack and smack and smack <laughs> it was just so much fun and that was a major stress oh, yeah. relief too i love that thing but that we don't that was somebody else's game. We don't have it, so yeah. I really want to find... We should look for the Wii Fit board. Yeah, I want to find the Wii Fit, because that was just so fun. But anyway, when I did the yoga on there, I was like, wow, I, I'm actually not as off balance as I thought I would be. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to try those DVDs and see if it just helps to relieve some anxiety, because... I worry way too much. It's ridiculous. And, and I'm going to try to not try them because I don't worry enough. So I think maybe if I tried them, I'd worry even less. You're so, so doing them with me. You said Darn. you would try them with me. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. What the heck? Yeah, see how we like them. Mm. Anyway, what else? You're... Did you tell people about your oh, new book? Yes. Thing? I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like, not a traitor, but. Well, you. Okay, listen, I'm a bookworm, and I've always said, I'll never buy those e readers. I like to read a real book, and I want a real book in my hands, and, you know, I'm not going to computerize. Well, guess what? My public library is getting in books that are only for e-readers. They're not buying the actual book book. So it was really frustrating me because there's a lot of authors that I want to read or continue the story and I can't get a hold of the books unless I go out and buy them. And with the amount of books that I read, and this is no exaggeration, I would be like claiming bankruptcy, I think. Oh yeah, just she from tons of books. I go through tons of books. I read while I'm cooking. I read, which I can't believe I can actually make a decent meal because I'm cooking. But she reads and watches television at the same time. I read and watch te television at the same time. I read right before I go to sleep in bed so that I can relax. I I read on all my breaks when I'm on break during yeah. the day. Um. Yeah, I do. So anyway, long story short, because I can babble, 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 my hubby got me an e-reader. Tablet. Actually, this is, yeah, this is more, this is a Amazon Fire. Well, most e-readers now are, yeah. And you and Big Daddy-O went out 
and you fought the Black Friday shopping crowds. We didn't actually have to fight anybody for any of that stuff, so it was pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> Walked in, they were in Big Ben, found them, nobody was standing there, grabbed them. Actually, you guys went out because Dad wanted one of these. Mom had gotten a tablet. Yeah, Dad wanted to check one out. Dad wanted to check one out, and these were on sale. I forget how much. Really cheap, yeah. actually. And Very cheap. My hubby grabbed me one, yep. and I love it. I love it. So I still read Oh, it's still plenty book, of books. regular books. But. but I also, now I can download books that I can't get, you know, in the regular book format. And, and with the cover like this, it's kind of like a book. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're right. And, uh, well, the cover came separate. You bought yeah, that, separately. that separately. Um, but what's really funny is I said to, to Nick, here, you, you know, you want to check it out, play around with it. He has discovered an app for Star Wars Angry Birds, right? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, games. Angry Birds, Star Wars. He's so addicted. I mean, I actually literally had to tell him, look, I want to read tonight. I have a book downloaded. You need to plug that back in so the battery's not dead because when you were home those two weeks, oh, yeah. he was so addicted to Angry Birds. Yes, I was. It's and fun. I like blowing things up. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? That is Absolutely. a lot of fun. It was a blast. Mm. If you are into um, just two more things about books, if you are into paranormal kind of type books, this, um, The Beautiful Ashes by Janine Frost, very, very good. The second one's coming out. This is a Broken Destiny novel. And um, it's actually a really good story, if you're into that. And I just got finished with the Key Lime Pie Murder Mystery from Joanne Fluke. And these books, I think, are the ones that Lifetime does a show based on these. I have no clue. It, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember the name of the show, but I, I thought I read that somewhere. Um, pretty much at all costs, I try to avoid Lifetime. You love Lifetime. No, I do not. You love Lifetime from November to December where all of the... Oh, no, I hate. <laughs> oh, that my gosh. That is like the worst. Lifetime uh, Movie Network <gasps> Christmas movies over and Are over. you kidding? They're the same movie with different names. That's <laughs> it. Do you know how many know how you... of us scrappers just play the Lifetime channel during Christmas and sit and craft so warm and heartwarming and inspiring. Yeah, him and my dad cannot stand Lifetime. My mom oh. drives him nuts with that. I mean, she has that channel on from like, I don't know. They were started in October. I October, think, my, my dad, dad said, to like January. But she loves it. And I'm, oh. I, I love that she loves it. So anyway, yeah. what's really cool about these is not only do you get to read a really good murder mystery or whatever uh, she has going on, but... If she um, talked about a certain food, she has the recipe in here, which is pretty cool. Now, we did try the one cookie, and we did not like it. Yeah, we it. didn't like that cookie, but, you know, not every recipe is going to be Not good. every recipe we're going to like. some people might have loved it. Yeah, it was called crispy something chocolate. chocolate chip. Crispy chocolate chip. Here's key lime pie. Which we're not a fan of anyway, so. I am not one. a fan of key lime pie. We live in southern Florida, and I am not a fan of key lime pie. Yeah. How disgusting is that? But I'll tell you what I do love. Lemon meringue. <gasps> I love lemon meringue. Here's a walnut date chews. Anyway, there's recipes in here. So I will definitely post a link below to these two authors if you're interested. And also, I love to read cozy reads like murder mystery cozy books doesn't really go together cozy reads and murder mystery it's cozy <laughs> that's what they're called I, got you. I understand <laughs> okay so anyway if you guys have any authors you'd like to recommend i would appreciate if you leave it in the comment section and also for christmas um, i got some new things well you know they're not new books but um i've been trying to find these books and I had had the third one of the series and couldn't find the others. And these books are 
amazing for beginning birders or even advanced birders or people in the middle somewhere like me who are just trying to figure it out but there's there are a series of three they're older but they're amazing books and what makes them really cool is each one of the birds in here has these little field marks and they tell you exactly what to look for so if you're a beginning birder it tells you exactly what to look for you don't need to check everything out now advanced birders use these for identifying very difficult um, birds and everything but there's a series of three that's the first one this is the second one and this is the third one which I had had for a little while but these are amazing books. Now, and these are put out by the Audubon? They're right? the National Audubon Society Master Guide to Birding. They're a set of three. And fantastic books. Well, I, I, I think they're good, too. Like, I'm not... Um, he is the major birder in the family. I like to go out on nature walks. I do like some birding. But I'm not... Not into it. But like there's that. a lot of times, like especially for me, I think, oh, there's a yellow rumped warbler, and you're like, no, it's a some other type of bird, like a palm warbler. A palm warbler, and I'm like, how can you tell the difference? They look the same. That book gives you all the little identifying like marks, I was right? Exact. Get them because yeah. I've been looking for the first. It's really two good for somebody who's really into birding and yeah. wants to identify each and every. Oh, and you guys tried your 100-day thing January 1st, remember? Tried to get 100 birds on January 1st. Didn't. Got up 4 o'clock, out the door by like 5.30, and went out to some places trying to find some birds. We got up to 92. We didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, didn't make the 100, but you know what? You did better than <laughs> yes, last year. we did year. better than last year. We were in the 80s last year, so. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Oh, speaking of birding and books, my hubby found this. I don't know if I showed you guys. My hubby found this at Hobby Lobby. We were there shopping one day. And because I'm such a bookworm, and he's a big-time birder. Bird nerd. Bird nerd. Um, he thought that this totally represented both of us. Yes. And I think it's super cool. I love it. It's beautiful. And they were having a sale that day, so you... Yeah, so they were on sale. The funny thing was, I'm like, no, 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 put it back. You know, I didn't want to... I don't know why, but I always feel like I don't want to buy stuff for myself. I'm always buying, like... Right, I know. For every, well, Everybody anyway, we got up to the register, and he had snuck this in the... In the, uh, in the little cart basket, in the whatever show, we Yeah. Have. I'm so happy you did that, because I absolutely love yeah, it. I it leave does. it on my desk, and look at it every day, and think of you. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Um, I had some questions from some subscribers about custom orders. Do I take custom orders? Yes, I do take custom orders for scrapbooks um, and layouts. Um, right now, I'm a little... Really if you can do it. Yeah, wedding albums. Um, right now, I have a custom order that I'm actually doing as a gift. It's for a guest list sign-in book. Like, you know those guest list books you put in the front of the church or at the reception? Yeah, reception. When whatever. people sign in for weddings. Um, this one's for a retirement. This is for a retirement party for his mom. She's a school principal and she's retiring. And you designed this on the computer like yes. last weekend, two weekends ago. Something like that. Um, the thing that I want to do, though, is because if you think about it, honey... Our guest book, we paid a lot of money for that thing. And right. all it had was the name of guests. Right. And you want to have like... They had sheets and sheets and, and sheets of guests. That's it. So everybody signed in. We looked at it once, like right after the wedding. Yeah. Right? Put it away. Haven't seen it. Since. We're going to be married, what, 18 years of Valentine's Day. And we haven't seen it since. So my idea was to not only design a guest sign-in book, but also do it in a scrapbook style so that I can incorporate pages for photographs. Because then I thought, it won't go to waste. It's not going to just sign in and then throw it in a corner somewhere and forget about it. If it has photographs in it, you would bring it out and, yeah, and use it. it for both. So I'm trying to do one now to... Um, as a scrapbook style. And anyway, he found the clip art of this little schoolhouse. Isn't that cute? 
Adorable. And then he has columns here for the name. And then over here, instead of having another name column, uh, the guest could write a special message to the retiree. So when I get this completed, I will show you. It's supposed to be in uh, purples and because her favorite color is purple. So I'm going to use that violet stack again. And I'll share that with you guys once it's finished. I also have two superhero scrapbook albums that I have to complete. Oh, yeah. She's got um, a bunch of little I have so well, much. big things and little things that she's been working on, custom orders. And yeah. Stuff. Also. And also another custom order is. Is what? These. Your mom wanted you to make some of these. Well, I have two, two custom orders that I'm doing for her yeah. French doors. Um, but I did complete this one. Let me move this thing because I don't think no, you can get the color um, shows up really okay. good. Okay. So this, you guys know I was doing these rosette wreaths. Well, I made them so that I can ship them. So this one measures a little over 11 inches all the way around. And it it's using the gold and creams and pink stack. I think I have it behind me somewhere, don't I? Not oh, I, I might have put it away. Um... Anyway, I finished three of these. They're going to be in my store. I'm going to be doing more wall decor this year, um, more um, embellishments, my handmade embellishments. I'll be adding those to the store. I'm kind of trying to revamp the whole thing this this month. But anyway, I got this one finished. I'm so excited. And... Um, I used a lot of Cricut images on it. I'm going to be posting pictures on my Facebook page. If you guys want to get to that, there's a link to my Facebook page in the beginning of my YouTube um, channel on the header somewhere. You'll find a link to that. But I finally got those done. I got three of them, which I'm excited about. And that's basically pretty much all we're doing is working and um, getting caught up. Getting and caught up. And today, since it's Martin Luther King Day, I have the day off, and I'm going to drag Cindy out birding later. She doesn't know it yet, but that's what's going on. Oh, so is that what's going on? Don't tell her. Oh, don't tell me? Is yeah. that what's going on? You think it was going to be a surprise. <laughs> every day you have off, you want to go birding. It's not, not that much of a surprise. <laughs> it's relaxing. You get out in nature and see some things and have fun. Oh, I love to go out in nature. I just I don't know. like to stand like there to in the one area for hours and hours know, looking for one stinking little bird that I can't see. It's so microscopically small. I, I want to go see stuff like like alligators and. Oh yeah, well I see lots of alligators on Mount Burden. Yeah. yeah. I take pictures of them and show them to her. You know what? The battery's going on the camera and we babbled a lot. All right, so. we babbled a lot. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and for asking us to bring back Macchiato Monday. Um, we have fun doing it. And yes, we do. Just chit-chatting amongst friends. I appreciate you all so much, all your constant support. I love YouTube. I don't know. Yeah. It's you guys made are actually huge, really amazing. And made a huge I have fun doing this with her as well. I made a huge It's made a huge difference in my life because I have no crafty friends near me. I know. So these guys are my crafty friends, I know, huh? that's what I'm saying. It's I fantastic. love it. I just <laughs> love it. And my little schmooby booby on the bed there. He's so cute, my little Sherlock. Oh, by the way, my our cat Sherlock and Dr. Watson are doing fantastic. Yes, they are. And um, getting big and bad and playing. And that's an update on them. So we will be back next month, hopefully with... With new news and fun news and... Oh, yeah, there'll be lots of other stuff going on. Yeah. Probably won't be really exciting, but it's what's going on here. It'll be so exciting because we're just <laughs> such exciting people. Yes, we are. I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.